Hello, it's Lisa, so it must be Thursday. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about what I should have talked about last week, and that was my favorite moment in Harry fandom. Um, I have a several. I call this Seven Degrees of Harry Potter. Clever, I know. The first thing that is one of my favorite things about Harry Potter was, um, kind of involves Joe, and I think that's appropriate. Um, I was in the audience at Radio City Music Hall when Joe did her talk with, or her book reading rather, with Stephen King and John Irving, and that was amazing. To be in that huge historic theater with 5,000 other rabid fans was just magical, and she wore really good shoes. So that's my first one. My second one is when I was invited to be on staff at Mickey Cauldron with the reading groups. I talked a little bit about that. Um, either my first or second week, I can't remember which, so I won't go into it too much, but that stands out with me because that's kind of a recognition that, hey, you're a fan, you know what you're talking about, we you want, mm. so that's number two. Number three, I have to look at my notes, and you got a good look at my roots, I'm sure. Number three was uh, prophecy, because I got to hang out with some incredible people, I got to see some incredible um seminars and events. I got to be exposed to Wizard Rock for the very first time, which was pretty freaking incredible. So that's three. Four would be, let's see, LeakyCon, which will probably move up in the ranks as we get a little bit closer. Being on the board of directors for LeakyCon and putting together this conference for other Leaky fans, um, you, you could ask for more than that. It, it's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, on a personal note, I think that Pottercast, when I was on Pottercast, 137, there should be cushions. Yeah, that was big. That was big for me, not only for my personal writing issues, but because I was on Pottercast, for God's sakes. I mean, honestly, how cool is that? The last two things that I have on my list are kind of related. Um, and I'm trying to think of a way to say this because when it's on YouTube, it's going to be there for everybody. But I honestly feel in a way Harry saved me. Um, I got involved with the fandom part of Harry Potter at a time when I was really at a crossroads. My husband was having some medical issues. I was deeply enthralled in being a mom to the point, and a wife, to the point that I kind of lost my authentic self. I lost that little nugget of who Lisa is. I wasn't as fun as I would have liked to have been. I wasn't as satisfied with what I was doing. While I was very satisfied with my life, with being a mom, with being a wife, with the job I was doing, I felt there was something missing that I needed to be doing. And I wasn't quite sure what it was. And I had no one else to really share this love of Harry Potter with. And I stumbled onto a forum that was not leaky. Um, and I joined, and I kind of like found my group of friends. And I think that I had been missing that. When we moved back to New York, I really didn't have very, very close, close friends that I'd made that had the same interests as me. Um, the friends that I had had interests that my husband and I had together, um, but I didn't have anybody who had interests like me. And I didn't have anybody that were geeks like me. And I didn't have people who were book readers like me. And I kind of lost that creative and outlet and part of myself. So finding that forum, I think, was huge. And a huge part of me kind of reclaiming some of the quality. Oh, God, my eyes are watering like crazy. Reclaiming kind of the qualities about myself that I'd missed for several years. So, yeah, that was all because of Harry. And that ties into my last seven degrees of Harry Potter, and that's that Harry got me writing again, and it was all kind of out of that whole fandom, and being a part of this group of people who really enjoyed these books, and enjoyed the kind of book that Harry Potter was, um, that's why I picked up Oracle and rewrote it, so in a very roundabout way, Harry jump-started me to do what I was meant to do as a writer, and that's kind of cool. And that's kind of me. And I kind of thank him for that. So yeah, seven degrees of Harry Potter.
from fan to self-realization. Is this too deep? Yeah, probably. Alright, well, till next week. Have a good one. Be safe. I love you all. More, more, more. Take care, guys. Bye.